The Vancouver Canucks clinched a playoff spot over the weekend, so fans will be able to enjoy some playoff hockey here at Rogers Arena for the first time since 2015. That is if they can actually afford the playoff tickets, which are very, very expensive. So they won, I was like happy, but now I'm not gonna... I'm not that happy about the ticket prices, yeah, for sure. I don't have no money for <laughs> this thing, yeah. I think the prices are way too high. I think that uh, uh, I enjoy the game of hockey, but I don't enjoy it that much because the prices are just too expensive. Even a regular game is not within the average working guy's budget. Tickets went on sale Monday morning and nearly sold out within minutes. Whenever I do go to a hockey game, I feel like the energy of all the Canuck fans is crazy and wild and like instantly you're into the game. So yeah, if I was to get some extra money in my pocket, I would go. Let me tell you about how much extra money you would need though. If you're gonna get like the upper bowl seat, like the worst kinds of seat, if you wanna call it that, some of those are getting resold for like 500 bucks. I'm not that big of a fan. <laughs> I'm not. Yes, most Game 1 tickets were being resold with the upper bowl seats at the back of the arena, nearly $500 per ticket. I mean, how's your vision from back there? Well, let's put it this way. I'm wearing glasses I wasn't before. <laughs> a mid-level seat in the lower bowl is north of $800. And for the new tickets that weren't being resold, over $1,000 each. It's the same with concerts, right? Like, it's like $1,000 to go to a popular concert, too. You know what? I care more about the fact that I can't afford my groceries than <laughs> the concerts. But. It should be, like, more affordable for everybody and... I, th I think it's fair for everyone to have the chance to watch a game, especially when it's playoffs, right? They're just overcharging for everything. I don't know. We can watch the game like online, but it's the craze. Like, people really want to go feel the excitement. There's no date yet for Vancouver's first playoff action in nine years, but the playoffs start April 20th. In Vancouver, Kirjuno, City News.